Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Anno 1800, where a lot of developments have happened, and I must bring you all up to speed. Essentially, what we have managed to secure is our future. The talks with the Queen were more like her capitulating to our demands, about which case, um, she is no longer in complete control of this empire, it is now us who is in control. And Lady Margaret Hunt has officially been labeled an enemy of the state, along with all of her sympathizers, all of her supporters. They all are now considered enemies of our realm. So, the Queen herself is now our puppet ruler until we can fulfill one of the conditions that I actually put forward, being the creation of a glorious new capital for our empire. Our Imperium. Once the capital has been completed, the Rantian Imperium will officially be founded, and the Queen will lose all legitimacy. But you know, I I'm of that person that you know I would invite Gasparov back. I would invite Alonzo Graves back, just so they can see what they could have been a part of. So the island of Crown Falls has been renamed to Rantium. This is where we are going to build. Our glorious capital and I have a lot of ideas when it comes to this island I've built on this island many times before but I have a couple of other little ideas that I've decided to do a little bit of test work in the creative mode and they turned out very well so I can't wait to actually get to that point to show it to you guys the next thing is um, putting the RP to the side for one moment uh, when it comes to the sunken treasures uh, DLC quest line uh, so Unfortunately, the questline failed when Lady Margaret Hunt took the island, and we don't have a diving bell. What I did is I went and looked up to see whether you can actually restart the quest, or if something happens resulting in the quest just jump-starting once more. Um, I only found one thread, a steam thread, in which somebody was facing a similar issue that Crown Falls fell uh, whilst during a war, and then the quest failed. What happened for them is... When they started building on Crown Falls, certain quest elements came back, but not the full thing. So, I don't know, there might be a mod that restarts it, I have to go and check the Nexus for that. Um, if not, then I can probably try to find like a ship unlocker to get the dive bell back, because I didn't even get that from that guy either. Um, but I personally, I don't think it's going to be that important, if I'm being honest with you, because I know there are ways to get passive scrap anyway. So, even if we get it or we don't, who gives a shit? Are we really going to spend time to use the diving bell while on recording to go and get what we need in these waters? Probably not. So, I will investigate a little bit further, and if you guys have any information regarding what happens in these particular situations, let me know. Um, because I do like the quest line. I, I've done it before, but... If it's not gonna happen, then it's not gonna happen, and I'm not gonna be bent out of shape about it even if it doesn't, you know? So, what we're gonna be doing is continuing our relentless onslaught against Miss or Lady Margaret Hunt by taking out the remaining islands over here and essentially exiling her to Inveza, in which case we're gonna have to open up diplomatic channels with the Emperor Katima to explain the situation before our navy actually arrives because he doesn't want to have any more wars happen on his, uh, in his empire, and we're pretty much going to be imposing ours on him. I also still need names for islands, so I will probably put it in the Discord that um, I'm in dire need of assistance with this, and probably list like which islands which, so you guys would be able to give me a whole bunch of names. Because I'm not going to be keeping Mirth N3, for the love of God, absolutely not. Is already dead. This is one of her cargo ships, so let's go and kill that thing off. Difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. And I'm not sure whether I mentioned it or not, but we're not paying the royal taxes anymore. She's paying tax to survive, pretty much. Okay, we need to go and take this island. This was the nether plane, and I kind of want to bring that edgy ass name back. <laughs> oh, right, and she has no idea where Eugene is. And so she says, but, you know, 
I told her that if you're lying to me, I'm going to go ahead and sink your entire uh, fleet. Your actual fleet that's hiding somewhere on your capital. Elsewhere. You know, I kind of, like I've said this before, I wish they continue working on this game. I really do. They're doing little bits and pieces with it, but I don't think there are going to be any new seasons. Which is so unfortunate. We will also still be working on Constantinople and Ditchwater, so don't worry about all that. We just, this is going to be where our crown jewel is. And I've actually been thinking for a subsequent series, I do kind of want to revisit a larger Constantinople idea on Crown Falls. So um, stay tuned for that one, because I'm still working on stuff like that. I, like I said, this, this channel is going to be going on for a long, long time. So you guys won't be going anywhere, I hope. I'm not going to be going anywhere. 36 influence for this island is crazy. Is already dead. It will be difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. All right, let's rename this one to Nether Plane. Okay, perfect. And we're kind of getting low on influence, but what I've actually done is um, I took my flak monitors over here and I'm going to sell them because they were they're useless now and i think isabel would be able to utilize them a little bit more now we have 41 influence to play with and we're waiting for this to end hell yeah it is we're gonna wait for this to end and then we're gonna start another one. Oh my god what the hell are you kidding me can we just upgrade you idiots to advance Upgrade to advanced and just like deal with it. They're gonna be burnt buildings there, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build a couple more of these Artista homes here. Gain a little bit more influence. And that's also working towards our, um, the mission. Uh, not that mission. It's uh, an achievement to get like 50,000 Artistas on Manola. I don't know whether I'm actually gonna be able to do that. I think it's possible. If I were to start, like, funneling a whole bunch of stuff in here, yeah, it's totally fine. The fire is out of control. Oh, no. Jesus. It's not like we have fire brigades. All right, Cape Trelawney, let's go back. I know I have two ships in reserve over here. They're kind of replenishing right now. I didn't want to bring them into the fight because they would have definitely died out. Uh, where is my air fleet? You guys are over here. She has a airship over here that I really want to kill off. I think I can bring... Well, no, there's a Big Betty on one of the small islands. And at this point, you know, she is very weak in comparison. Right? Very, very weak. So, I can effectively say we won this war, hands down. We took a beating in the process, but the most difficult part of this entire engagement was going to be in the Old World, because that's where she was more so concentrated. The huh? Okay, well that ship's fucking off. <laughs> Fleet awaiting orders. Can we shoot it down? These things are a lot faster than I give them credit for. <laughs> but it's okay, we'll catch up to it eventually. We need to make sure we kill it off. Ship under attack. Where? It actually turned around and gave a pot shot. That's wild. Hi. Okay, get over here and destroy these two cargo ships. Oh, that belongs to old Nate. Okay. Maybe if I were to sail in here, something will happen. Okay, well, they're just gonna hunt that one down. Are you finally embracing a just cause? Holy shit! 
Yeah, okay, so that that would suck now that we don't have this bit of under attack. Clear stations. Yeah, I think what I can do is I can use a ship unlocker to get the thing back. All right, we got that airship out of here. There's that one as well. Uh, does she have flat guns over here? At this island, she does, I think. Yeah, there are flat guns over here. I don't want to get involved in this this island quite yet. With my air fleet, I need my navy to show up first. Okay, we're going after Dowry 3. Such a wonderful name for a wonderful island. Like, I have a little bit of originality. Just a little bit. I'm not asking for a miracle here. Ship under attack. Your enemy's resistance is from. There we go. You cannot drain what is already dead. Okay, what does she have here? It will be difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. Okay, the bonus residence from this is actually kind of good. Yeah, I kind of like that. Now, how bad is our worker deficit? Pretty damn bad, I think. But we have a whole bunch of these guys to upgrade. Actually have some decent hustle and bustle around here. Oppressor. Excuse you? Oh, you want a church. Where can I put the church? I can put the church like back here. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I can probably put it like right here-ish. And then change the building skin. How about now? Am I still an oppressor? Oh yeah, you guys want a pub as well, don't you? God, they're so damn needy. Look at where you're living, and then you want to, like, give me shit? Okay, they should be content now. Oh, now now you want to be like that. Okay, alright, motherfucker. Do, do your thing. <laughs> Outstanding. Alright, so we are also working on the quest line for Archie, which we need to give him 70 steel beams. I think I actually have steel beams in the commonness. Let's go over here and we'll just give it to him. Let's put those into Constantinople and then bring it over here. Stations. The good old scrubbing buddy. Man, it's so good to see the old world completely under our control. That's amazing. Same with the new world. Look at that. It's badass. Okay, there's a whole bunch of Ruins over here. Let's fix that up, please. Upgrade these guys too while you're at it. Looking very, very nice. And I actually was able to get our supply lines back up and running. So the only ones that we really don't have are these ones. And I do actually have ships for them. Uh, I can swap the Celestial out for... Let's go with the Lone Star 3. So that means that we can sell more alpaca wool. Where is it at, though? There it is. And I know. You're ready. One second, homie. And then we can swap the Dauntless out for the Puerco Invicto 2. And yeah, all of our supply lines are set once more. Alright, so we handed that in. Where's the propeller? Oh, well, that sucks. Onward. Go and grab that real quick. Cape Trelawney, please. What shall I tell her, Majesty? You don't need to tell her much anymore. <laughs> Alright, this island's gonna be a bit of a doozy. We need to attack the Big Betty immediately, and then there's probably a flamethrower. Yep. This is probably her last Big Betty ever. And she only has three islands left over here, and that's fan-fucking-tastic. Like, 
Let's see when we can actually fire it at that thing. It will shoot at us first. Maybe? Nope, we're firing at it first. There you go, fire it once. Alright, uh, flamethrower, please. Well, we're far enough away from it, we don't need to worry. I got all my ships in here. Also under attack as well. Okay, I need this airship gone. It is already dead. It will be difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. All right, now where is her harbor over here? It's over on this side. Perfect. Let's get over here, and then these two ships are okay-ish. They can meet up right here as well. Are we attacking this thing? Under attack. Looks like we are. Nothing real good in this one either, and neither with that one. Yeah, that's really shitty. Nice. Fleet awaiting orders. Okay, let's get on over here as well. Okay, we have to pick up the propeller for Archie and then send it over to his main harbor. And I'm very, you know, interested to see the Great Eastern finally, because I promised Patrick that I'm going to be naming it the Enterprise. It's been saying that for a long time, so... It's good to finally have it to a point that you can do that, right? Uh, get this out there. These guys probably are unhappy, yes. And that is because you want a church. And we do not have enough to give you a church. Because I don't have enough bricks in here. I... But it's good to have our supply lines back. That's for certain. Once the Comnellus is all done with uh, all that good stuff, then we should actually be able to have all these people back and you know eventually build them up to you know investors and probably artifacts is going to be like that worker hive i don't think i'm going to be like well no i i think weston needs to come back to workers but i'll probably actually work on it a lot more effectively now because back then i really wanted to use it for the grain fields up here and then the other resources that we could potentially have but I can just start sending over what they need. I can have like a mini Docklands or something in the back and make it actually look relatively nice. I, or you know what, I could start working on, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, maybe. Hold on. Let me give you guys a taste of what I'm thinking with regards to um, Rantium now. If I can try to replicate it, it'd be fantastic, of course. But, you have roads like this. And then you have the canals to the left and the right of the road. Right? But I think they're actually three deep. I need to go and look at my creative mode. Yep. Give me the penetrating line. But then you have a break, like, hold on, for example, one here and one here, and then you would go here, put the city light You're stuff. Constant, and that is key. Like that, okay. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. 
Should be equal? Yep. Alrighty. And then... I was debating whether to do it in the middle as well. Like, you can. But then you won't be able to, like, go past the double row. This is something I'm still working on. But the, uh... The core of it is that there's canals everywhere, right? And if you were to go to a nighttime view, it should all be lit up. Like so. And then you have, like, bridges across and whatnot to get to the different areas of the settlement and all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll see. I, I'm still working on it, and I really want it to be, like, my best build yet. So... I present my humble duty. No, I'm not going to buy any of your ships. Uh, get over here. How are we looking with our population right now? Is it all maxed? No, because they don't have soap and they don't have a school. Okay, so can we bring in some soap? I actually do have a ship that I can use for this. Let's use the Revolution to go from Ditchwater. We're going to need soap, please, and there should be a bunch because we're using wood for this. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There we go. You see that, Lemon? I'm capable of using keybinds. I, I pressed the button. Be proud of me. That was very aggressive. I don't know why I went that way. Uh, old only. Okay, and then we're gonna be bringing some soap in for these guys because I think these guys need it as well. It yeah. I don't want to keep these guys here as workers though. Ideally, I want another island fort, so it will be Weston. Okay, Cape Trelawney. A did those other ships arrive too? I think they did. Yeah, they're over here. Stations. Okay, let's get in here and kill off this island, too. Wonderful. Alright, Cape Trelawney is you completely ours. Is dead. We don't have a repair crane over here, so I'm just gonna... Is that one of her ships? Hello. You came in at a very bad time, my friend. <laughs> very, very bad time for you to come and visit Tra Cape Trelawney on behalf of Lady Margaret Hunt. Uh, open fire. <laughs> oh, that's awful. That's terrible. <laughs> I would have actually taken that shit. That's sad. Okay. Alright, we need to head over to Taburim. Jesus. Okay. So what do you have in here? Nothing worthwhile. Yeah. You would think it would be better, but whatever. I, I mean, even on our main island over here at Twitch Snap, there wasn't anything major. Except for this. But whatever. Okay, so uh, let's get the steam motors. We need 40. And we can also grab a couple of other resources for our other island. Uh, where are you? 40. And then... We're gonna need... I, I think they just need bricks over here. Bricks and steel beams, okay. So, grab a little bit more steel beams and some more bricks. And then, first things first, we have to head over to Gas Man. Engines engaged. And then, head over to New World. Let's see when this thing is ending. Okay, it ended right now. Critics. Those poor people cannot paint. And reset. We should actually get a fair amount here, I think. I really need to build more airships. But I don't have the aluminum profiles. Okay, so let's... Um, Hemlock is probably going to be the best spot for it. 
Because the, hold on, they need what again? They need a bauxite mine, a charcoal kiln, and the smelter, okay. So, let's get everything kind of mapped out here. Look at where this oil field is, man. That's so stupid. Okay, can you make it to both of them? No. I don't want to put just... It's it's so shit. I, I don't like it when they're this spaced out. I don't think that's going to work. It, it's just going to need the one. Whatever. I'm just going to do it for now. I'm going to move these all a bunch later. Produce an arsenal? Yeah, I know. I don't know why it's giving me something I already know. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. This might actually work. This might actually work. It does not work. That Man, this is so stupid. Okay, put this one here for now. And then... See, like, this is just gonna drain our... Our workforce so much. Okay, that one's taken. Put one there and another one here. I think we got them all. Yeah, it looks like we got them all here. Okay, and then uh, as for the oil store, I think we'll probably put it over here in the small oil harbor. It's a good spot over here. I don't really want to. Well, I could potentially put it over here, but it looks like it's more leaning to this side. Yeah. Put that there. And then we're going to need a lot of oil stores. Something like that. And... Well, I'll fix that up later. Uh, more... No, don't need the oil harbor. I could also bring it, you know what, a little bit further to, uh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's actually put the small oil harbor further this direction. So I can actually make it, like, even-ish on both sides. Brought some joy. Hold on. Oh, it won't be, like, even-even, but whatever. It's actually not bad. I knew you'd come through. Okay, Royal Letter of Immunity. That's kind of good. Wouldn't it be? Okay. Oh, the Great Eastern should be ready soon. Nice. Very good. Onward. Okay, let's deliver this stuff over here to Ditchwater. Because they're going to need a whole bunch of resources. And I think the soap has arrived here. At least I would hope. Uh, we're in a good spot. I guess I can upgrade all of these farmers too. I don't necessarily have to keep them as... Looks fair. No, I still haven't. So we're going to need a school here as well for these guys. Okay. A lustrous jewel in the crown. And there's our Great Eastern. Sir Archibald gives his thanks. Cargo stations. Oh, nice. Ship under attack. Where? Oh, we arrived. Okay. Enemy's resistance is crumbling. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna claim all of her shares. You cannot drain what is already dead. So then she doesn't have any economic base anymore. But uh, the problem is that I just don't have enough influence anymore to maintain that, and these islands are gonna be very, very um, influence heavy. I don't know if there is a way to check. Um. Also, share revenue. Ah, uh, it's 50. Okay, so it's 50 all around. 
Well, we'll just sit, hang out over here, because uh, now Katima's going to be like, well, what the hell just happened? You just declared war on her, or what? Because he's, like, completely cut off from what we've been doing this entire time. There we go. Our great Eastern Enterprise is ready. What are the skins we have for? We have uh, the Heritage skin. Uh, no, I'm not really digging that one. I, I kind of dig this one. And now we can send Enterprise on um, a whole bunch of expeditions and good stuff to get a whole bunch of these nice items and all that good stuff. It's going to be amazing. I was actually waiting for this ship in order to start those expeditions, honestly. Uh, you actually need to go over to Isengard later, but I want to start an expedition. So which one should we do? Um... We can do this one. Where is the Enterprise? There it is. So we're gonna need rations. Uh, let's take some fish. Let's take 30. Diplomacy. Oh, you can never go wrong with our champagne. Crafting. Uh, let's take some caoutchouc because we don't need any more. Born by the waves, die by the waves. And then force, we have some dynamite. Okay, start the expedition. And then... See, you can trust me. Let's see here. How are you guys looking? Because I need as much influence as I can get now from you. It's all about finding the fun in fundamentals. So, do we have any more chocolate? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. So we have plenty of chocolate. We have plenty of the costumes, which is great. We just don't have Mezgal. We have the cotton fabric. You know what's actually a good thing that I could possibly do and actually open up my fucking eyeballs and see? It says, in island storage. Literally, in island storage. Oh god, I'm, I'm so fucking stunted. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Like, dead ass. I have always had a focusing problem all through my life, okay? This is no fucking exception. <laughs> but you know what we can do? Our governors here have held the line so well. We can stand down our our forces over here. And we can use the influence because I just, I just remember that we have these here. We don't need them anymore. Not have to rebuild. A lot of influence went into uh, building these these things, so. Yeah, that was a lot of influence, actually. Stand them down. 286. Oh, what was the influence bonus we lost? Oh, military? Oh, whatever. I can get more ships. Not a big deal. Okay, so now Cape Trelawney, we are going to um, send our air fleet to Enveza so we can actually begin with our reconquest. So you know what? Uh, I, I'll, I'll leave her with Mill Church, but I'm going to take over the rest of her islands now. Uh, Katima, let me uh, bring you up to speed, my man. Uh... Margaret hunts a bitch and so is the queen. I gotta kill her. You are now up to speed. This is actually a really nice island. I love the islands here. I really do. And I feel like they should have added so much more with buildings and developments and whatnot. Like, look at this. That, that's their freaking monastery. It's beautiful. An explosion in one of are you factories. fucking kidding me? Like, are you actually fucking kidding me? A fire broke out. I don't. What if I don't fucking care that a fucking the light bulb place fucking exploded and there's fucking death and now that Isengard has become less attractive? It's Isengard. Ship under attack. 
Oh my god. Ready to fly. Like Can we put something down here? You there is one here. I'm I I can't I can't even with my own self. I can't even with my own self. Okay, head back to Mbeza. This is important. Attention to the Admiral. Okay, engage. Uh, do you have a flamethrower here? You do. Take that thing out first. Ship under attack. May we see these shores again? Resistance is crumbling. Wonderful. Claim the island, please. Thank you. You cannot drain what is already dead. So she has ships, and they are coming in this direction. It will be difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. Fighting her air fleet is going to be annoying here, because they're so fast, and I don't know whether she has like. Oh, hello. You know what, in um, the old world, I want some additional ships made. Do I have a free one somewhere? Uh, I have the Komnenos here. Let me actually take this guy over, because I can put him in the trade union, or the harbor master over here. A token of appreciation from our land and its emperor. Wait, what? I don't understand. What do you give me? Your ship has returned from its boy. How come we didn't like? Wait. So do these guys have something? Fleet awaiting orders. I'm so confused. What that was for? Attention. Kill off that ship, please. Okay, next island is, uh, yeah. We can go all the way this direction to take out this island. I kind of really want to take Tabarim back, though, low-key. We're kind of closer to this. Oh, fantastic. That's just, that's just fucking fantastic. You know how happy I am? Oh, yeah, wonderful. Excellent. Some would say capital. Capital work done. Okay, um... I need to figure out something here. So, are you guys happy now? You're not going to be dickheads? Okay. Uh, put a street like this, another street like this, one like this, and you know what? Um, maybe one like... No, that doesn't work. Okay. It look like that, okay. And then we can put some homes probably back here-ish. Yeah, that works. I think we have room for like two over here and then some right here. We can also put like one there because I need to get my worker population up. This is one way of doing it. And I was planning on building around the... Um... Oh crap, I can't... God damn it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Get rid of that. There we go. Now you're happy. And more than likely, there's going to be a fire at some point here, so we're going to pop on a fire station. Probably, like, right here. Great. That works well. I actually like it that there's a bustling city around, or, like, a township, I guess, around the form of the Ox. I also built some over on this side, but I did really want to keep it to, like, individual little townships and then the more higher developed territories, but right now having the worker need is, is very much up there. Uh, we can do the same here, but where to put...
put you... Uh, I would actually want to build around this side now. So, let's try to get a... What the hell? How do you have the money to buy back this share? I, I don't understand. Ship under attack. Your enemy's resistance is crumbling. You cannot drain her. You will not spoil my plans. Okay, now how do you spell this against Taborim? It will right? be difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. Welcome, Kiftani. Taborim. Yep, perfect. Wonderful. Okay, let's take out this island because it's like literally right here. With some defenses. Okay, so over here, I'm thinking... I don't really want to keep to that static build. Th that might be a problem. Hold on, let me see here. Uh, no, there's a little room. We can actually put a street through there. Works like that. That's good. And then we're going to need a marketplace probably like right over here. We can put the pub right there too. That's actually a nice spot for it. A... Fire station, that's perfect. So I don't know if you guys actually know this, but I have my notifications open on my phone. So whenever somebody who isn't on Incognito actually subscribes to the channel, it tells me. So I just want to thank Samuel Hickson. If you're watching the Anno series and later on when you are, if you get to this point, thank you from me to you. So this is going to be a more densely populated area of Ditchware. Is under attack. What the f- No shot, you actual bitch! Your island is under attack. Where is your- You fucking bitch! Oh, you asshole. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That is not what's happening. That is not what's happening at all. Stations. No, don't go there. Now I can't do anything until that state of war is fucking over. Attention to the Admiral. Get over here and destroy those ships then. Ship under attack. Like, the moment I get rid of those damn defenses, that's when they pop up? Surrender chance is zero, of course. Okay, there's a single blockade runner over here that I need to go and kill off. Uh, where is my flagship? I want this ship destroyed. Okay. Okay. All right, we have influence back. Uh, go back to Mbeza. I'm over here thinking like, what the hell just happened? And then, <laughs> lo and behold, I got carpet bombed again. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> oh man so i am seriously thinking uh in the future of having um a multiplayer session with you guys i think it'll be a lot of fun i genuinely think it'll be a lot of fun we'll set something up i um i think i want to continue on with this series i don't know how many episodes there are going to be quite frankly i i really because this is the very first, like, Anno series that I've gone on the channel, I think the the final goal will be when we consider Rantium to be fully built up. Uh, maybe. But I will eventually like to do um, multiplayer with you guys, and I know there's definitely not enough room for everybody to be in on one particular multiplayer session, so... I don't want to leave it up to lottery. What I will probably do is 
Um, those of you of whom have been commenting religiously and are really like engaged with this series, um, I will consider you guys before everybody else so you know who you are. Oh my god, what is happening here? Uh, but again, I don't really know because I really wanted to be fair to everybody as much as possible. Like for EU4, for example, you can have like so many damn people playing one session at a time, you know? But for Anno, I think it's like, what, four? I think there are mods you can, like, get a lot more than four in, but... And obviously when it gets down to that point, anybody who wants to get involved needs to be comfortable with uh, knowing that their voice and whatnot is going to be on YouTube, because I would like to record it. I feel like it would be a very chaotic session, and I'm so, so ready for it. You have no idea. And I don't know how much sense I've been making this entire time while I've been recording, but that is just me. I ramble until I can fully, like, you know, get more accustomed to making videos and having, like, clear thoughts and all that stuff. To make sense and all that good stuff, you know, it, it, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. But nevertheless, I am very, very happy with the state of the channel and everybody that's been commenting and engaging with all the content. It's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. I never... Never would have anticipated this. 300 subscribers for me, little old me? Absolutely not. You would have asked me about what? <laughs> a couple years ago? Hey, would you ever get involved in YouTube? Fuck no. <laughs> then now? Hi, how are you? <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying in the last episode, I've been watching um, these videos for people who are like giving tips and whatnot for new channels. And one guy commented, and I completely agree with this commented saying that like 50% of its personality I would like to think that my personality is fucking good right like I make you guys laugh I, I'm entertaining smile <laughs> oh no please 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 let's let's be a little bit smart here she has some ships and I want to kill them off As always, I endure. That frigate's probably gonna get away. Maybe not. It's right on the edge of our radius. Yeah, it got away a little bit. Or no. No, no, no. Come on, kill it off. There we go. So we have these islands. Let's head back up. Uh, we need to go after... Well, Milk Church still belongs to us. Uh, we need to go after Caverage. And this is where the harbor is. Let me head back over to New World real quick and fix up that repair crane. Okay, and you... How are you looking? Really? Whatever. All right, expedition. What do you want? Uh, okay, who's better? Well, Fight if we must. oh, we got a reward. It looks good. Nice. Yeah, provide champagne to my crew. That that's definitely the right thing. Right thing to do. Hundred percent. Give them the champagne and let them go to town. All right, where are my airships? I need to find out where that one lone ship is and kill it. I think they're right here, actually. They'll go after it now. And here I thought this area was safe. Yeah, run, bitch. You bombed my people. Prepare to die. Okay, where's my fleet? Okay, they're going forward. Okay. Well, uh, you know, this actually kind of worked out to my advantage as well. I wasn't really digging the idea I had for Tavarim initially. Um, I'll probably make it, like, instead of having those really, really thick roads, I'll probably just make it like a double road. Like, from here. Let's make a double road like that. And then have the marketplace, like, 
Can we put that in the middle? Yeah, that kind of works, doesn't it? So we do something like this instead. And then build the homes closer by. Because in order for us to get to the other building items that are necessary here. And because, you know, fires and all that good stuff and my luck is trash. Uh, it would actually be better to have the island look like this than what I had before. Kind of a little bit static, but I will work on making it a little bit more beautiful here and there. Because I really do like these islands. I think there is a mod pack that works considerably with um, adding beautification items to Inbeza. So I definitely want to take advantage of that at some point. And then we're going to need the musician's court. So we can put one here. Um, what else did they need? Well, we're going to need the fire station. Uh, the fire station here is not a bad one. Actually, is a pretty good spot. And this is where the river slot is, so we can put the pump down. Put another pump over here. Uh, I don't think I want to make mud bricks here. But I will have to... I could reconsider doing so. We'll see. But let's... Fill in this road, and let's fill in this road. Man, I really wish I could put banners down. I miss my banners. I've, I've been neglecting use of my banners. <laughs> Alright, so here are the ornaments. So let's put some down, at least for now. Put one of those down. A, um, a way camp is a nice one. This city is a magnet for genius. Okay, we got some stuff here. I kind of like these trees. Put those down as well. Yeah, this this is going to look out a lot better than what I was planning. A lot better. Stations. Okay, let's move the fleet into position over here. And we may fire when ready. Okay, next island, please. Is already dead. Widow Magna 2, so original. It will be difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. Are you guys still fighting that thing? What the fuck? This thing is so annoying. At least just chase it so it doesn't have the opportunity to go and like... Oh, there's one down here too. Eventually it'll get stuck in the corner of the map, so... There's one here. Oh boy. Okay, so she's sending these just to harass us as much as possible. That's that's amazing. That's immaculate, actually. Really love that for us. Okay. Can we upgrade all these uh, worker homes? Or farmer homes? Yes, we can. Uh, I'm going to do these ones as well. And these ones. Add these guys up too. Okay. It's gonna really help out because uh, having a decent worker population coming back is gonna be fantastic. Either I kill her off faster so those airships no longer bother us. Okay. Look at that motherfucker. Look at this shit. Please kill it. Okay, it stopped. Go and kill this one now. Are you finally embracing a just cause? Yep, I am. Up top. All right, how's it looking here? We should have all the things they need, right? 
Yeah, these guys just don't have a school here, so that's okay. I can put two down. I'm not opposed to it. Just to get more of a worker population going. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I want Eugene back. I, I really miss Eugene. And I know you guys miss Eugene. A lot. It's just empty without him, you know? Onward. I wonder if I were to put some flat guns over here, what would happen? If that thing will start going in this direction. Can I even put any down? I could put like... One right here. I kind of don't like where it's going to be placed. Like one right next to it. See what happens if that thing moves. Because more than likely when my other airship comes in, it's going to bring it back towards Isengard. So, uh, let's put this guy in here. Yep. Yeah. The New World, did we intercept this one yet? We are about to. What are those? Those are my airships, right? My transport ships, okay. And they will engage in three, two, one. Ship under attack. I don't know where she's pulling these airships out of her ass. Like, it, this is crazy. Go, 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 go. All right. I don't think there's any more here, so head on over to Isengard so we can take out that last one. Uh, Embeza, please. Where's the fleet? Attention for the Admiral. And then Milchurch is going to come back, so I'll just double back. Another island taken. What is already dead. She only has four islands left. I think I actually can do that in this particular episode. Because I don't want these airships fucking being around everywhere. Untold perils, await us. Untold perils have been awaited us this entire fucking campaign. Are you kidding? Conquered. I don't like the way she says that. I, I really don't. Give you this act of treachery. Your enemy's resistance is crumbling. Where's the next harbor? It's over on this side. <laughs> Dowry too. <laughs> what a lovely name. Such a lovely person. Can we catch up to the ship of the line or are we actually gonna let it cat you know run away? But that that's immaculate. Like, come on, can we just like boost the engines or something? Can we have that World of Warships thing in here? Have these things go a lot faster than what they should be? Yeah, please help me out with the naming of these cities, otherwise I'm just gonna put it into a name generator. Is that airship fucking off? 
No, it's here still. Attention to the Admiral. Alright, let's get these ships into position over here. Uh, old world, please. 842, so we are getting to a good point with all these guys. Let's build up this corridor. It's going to be really important to get this spot. Probably, you know, like, keeping these guys as workers back here, I don't think it'll be too bad. I'm being honest with you. Uh, I kind of like this old inn maybe for back here. And then, as far as this one is concerned, let's go with the, um, ornate. Yeah. I have this fire station built up as well. I guess I can build a couple more homes around here. Oh, yeah. Never seen these things fire. Ship under attack. Are you are you not firing now? It's right there. Your ship has returned. It's dead ass out of their fucking range. Okay, well, let's uh, fix that. Your enemy's resistance is crumbling. All right, we took that island. Fantastic. You cannot drain what is already dead. I'm gonna try to push it into these flak guns and see what happens. Nope. That didn't happen. Lost. Okay, Ivy Gate 2, and then heading back to Milk Church, and then she will be done. And our campaign is going to be smooth sailing. No more AI opponents, no more bullshit carpet bombs, no nothing. Holy crap. I never thought this day would have would come. We have so many islands to play with. Unbelievable. Yeah, send it in direction of the flat guns. I've never actually seen these things fire. Are you gonna fire at all? Seriously? The people celebrate your leadership. Well, okay, I mean the, the same effect kind of happens, so I mean whatever. If that's the case, I'm just gonna get rid of these ones. Save the influence or something else, you know. How much oil do we have here? Three thousand seven hundred and twelve. Okay, so get these uh, other power plants going. Carefully, I say. Where's the other one? Uh, there should be one here, so I guess that's the... There's this power plant as well, so get that going as well, and this one. Okay. So we have effectively rebuilt following the conflict. So we need to get the worker workforce back up, which is happening slowly but surely. And our fleet is run aground. Big shocker. <laughs> Yep, she's at 99 here. Attention to the Admiral. Okay, let's fire. Ship under attack. No, you will not spoil my plans. Hmm. You tried to spoil mine. All right, Mill Church is the last holdout of Lady Margaret Hunt, I believe, and with that, she will be destroyed. I don't think she's anywhere else. If she is, I have no fucking idea. But that seems a lot. Ninety for this one? It's kind of weird. Remember to play a beautiful game. Oh, wonderful! All right, let's see. How much we get from this? Here's a trophy to outshine all precious jewels. Not bad. A hard earned win. Very cool. The people celebrate your leadership. Alrighty. And back to you know, because she's not here at all. She's not in the old world. Cape Trelawney. We have all the islands now. 
So this must be the last one of hers, I would assume, I hope. Okay, let's be a little smart here. Just a little bit, I'm not asking for a whole bunch. But yes, as we're getting close to uh, defeating this last island of hers, I just want to thank you guys again for, you know, being here and, you know, stomaching my rambling. I know I'm trying to get better with it so I can uh, stay on topic as much as possible and, you know, be the best YouTuber I can be and grow this channel to as much as I possibly can with an amazing group of people like yourselves. And, you know, there, it's just going to take time for more people to come and check out the channel. All the comments are appreciated. All the likes are appreciated. Sending me anything as far as, like, a comment or a picture, screenshot in Discord. I can safely say this right now. Like, as I was, I was going and looking at other channels. I'm not going to mention their names, obviously. I'm not that type of person. But they charge people to go into their Discord. I'm never going to do that. There, there's no way. I'm, I, I just want to talk to people and hang out, you know? That's that's always how I've been. So thank you all again. And, you know, with the destruction of Lady Margaret Hunt, I see us getting closer to our Imperium being fully acknowledged as a decent contender to go up against the big boys in this space. 100%. Because that's where I envision it getting to another point. Um, I also do have ideas for storylines. I am a very artistic person in that regard. I'm very creative, so I will probably work on a lot of different storylines. I have two actually in the works, one for uh, Rantius himself, and then uh, I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but I play RuneScape from time to time. Still have an active character going. I haven't played it in, like actually for, I don't know, a couple months now, because I just kind of got bored after I got, I think it was 99 Farming. Yeah, that was the uh, one I got recently. Um, but I also do have a storyline for RuneScape characters, so uh, working on refining that. Um, when those will be out will probably in the future, because I want to try to reach a point in which the channel is capable of reinvesting into additional channel upgrades, meaning like stories, animations, music, stuff like that so it's going to be a long journey but i hope you guys are going to stick in for the long run and we just broke a hundred thousand because we're not paying any of the super royal taxes okay let's get it all in here take out this island finally so tell me lady margaret hunt was it worth it was it worth stealing eugene was it worth capitulating to a dumbass queen? I didn't think so either. I don't like the sound that thing's making. But Loki, I'd probably eat that. What is it? They were begging me to challenge you for the longest time. Oh, it's a tea spicer. Oh, hell yeah, give me some tea. Well, if they were begging you to challenge me for the longest time, well, uh, that happened, so... Uh, witness your defeat, and you and I are gonna have a talk. I want Eugene back. Open fire. Prepare to fire. Resistance is crumbling. You cannot dread it. Difficult to forgive you this act of treachery. So she still is alive. She has an island somewhere. I think it actually might be back here. Yep, I just heard it. I just heard it. Alrighty, so this is where I'm going to end this episode off. Uh, in the last, in the next episode, sorry, we are going to completely kill off Lady Margaret Hunt because she is building something in this little quadrant right here. I kind of figured that there might be something in this area, but I never really went and investigated. So uh, I don't think there's anything down here. At least I don't hear anything. Yeah, so last island is over there. Okay, 
Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. Thank you so much again for you know being here and listening to my excessive rambling. I hope you guys are enjoying it, and I will catch you on the next one.